Ben from Retic Reps TV. Hi, I'm Ben, as you just heard. Today we're doing about king snakes. They're a really cool little snake. Average size about four to six foot. And yeah, cool snake. Some for my like liking. They're not mentioned enough in the hair, hair world. Here are some cool morphs. Hi, when keeping reptiles it is always important to make sure you're feeding them that right. Like with snakes you've got to do it like every five to seven days and according to the size of mouse or rat or whatever you're feeding. For a snake this size, you'd be feeding them pinkies, then should they get bigger, fuzzies and so on and so forth. But with lizards like every day on crickets, mealworms, etc. And after feeding, you shouldn't handle them for two to three days just to let them digest. If you do, it could cause um, damage to vital organs and make them regurgitate food. So, puke it back up pretty much. So yeah, and when you're feeding them, uh, you got to make sure they don't swallow too much substrate because that can cause impaction which it just sits in the digestive system and blocks it, blocks it all up so in time it kills them. That's fact the feed. Hi, this is a cow king snake. They're a good species to handle but they can be a little aggressive unlike corns and milks. They're actually in the same family as the milk snake which are red, black and white, many of you might know that. Um, but they're actually a really good snake to handle. But as they're young, they can be nippy, musk, which is the poo and defecate all over your hands. So yeah, but like, uh, if you handle them regularly, a brilliant snakes to keep. Look at they're just really calm. So yeah, good snake to keep for beginners, and good snake for experts. Just good overall snakes. Hi, I'm Ben again. This is Molly the Cow King Snake. And we're talking about housing now, so the size of your vivarium, what kind of vivarium or terrarium you need. For a cow king, for an adult cow king anyway, you need a three foot viv like this, or you can even go for a four foot one, the bigger the better really, but not too big because snakes would rather be caught in a smaller enclosure to feel more secure and safe. So, yeah, so a three foot uh, for an adult is plenty, plenty big enough, but if you if you want the extra room, go for a four foot. Anyway, uh, make sure it's all kitted out, so heat mat underneath the substrate so the snake can't get burns, hides in the warm and cold end, and just plants in a walk dish with uh, fresh food and water every day, just to make it look nice. And remember to shut it so your snake doesn't escape because they're amazing escape artists like all snakes like corns, milks and kings alike. So yeah, that's housing. Cheers for watching. I raise my trigger finger